Hi folks, this is all the fruit and this impressive tree here is the honey locust tree or American Gledicia. This here is a beautiful tree stemmed specimen, at least it starts out as tree stems. Then the thicker stem branches and after a meter the two stems grow together and a meter further they grow apart. Really impressive and nice ornamental tree. I kind of grew up with this tree, even as a kindergartner I had an eye for exotic looking trees. And this was certainly pretty exotic looking. <coughs> nice foliage in autumn. The huge fruit which looked like giant flat bean pots. And most of all, of course, those gigantic thorns. Look at them. The ones which stay like thorns, they are over a foot long, over 30 centimeters, and then they are thorn-like branches, which still basically are mostly thorns when they are one or one and a half meters long. So imagine what a kindergartner can do with all this stuff. We collected the thorns and the fruit. However, the fruit had quite a strange smell for me. I did not really like the smell. It was an intriguing smell, but not really a nice smell I enjoyed. I did not even know what this tree is called like. When I came to Germany, many years later I learned that it's called Gledicia. Well, not a name I can place anywhere. Okay, this tree is called Gledicia. Only many, many years later I learned that the American name is Honey Locust Tree. So I guess, okay, probably it's related to some tree which produces some sweet substance, or maybe it looks similar to a tree that produces some sweet substance. But never did I think that maybe this name could actually be fully justified. And only this year, while googling exotic fruit, I found out that this is actually called honey locust tree, well, because it could contains a substance which is, well, quite similar to honey. It's sweet and sticky. See the green substance here? Well, as soon as I learned that this stuff is edible, I read, you should not eat the fruit too late. When they are too old, they are not good. So a couple of weeks ago, I went and tried the green fruit. And they were one of the most disgusting things I've ever tried in my life, folks. They were horribly astringent, horribly bitter, but not a pleasant bitterness. This disgusting bitterness which makes you salivate for half an hour and one of the most disgusting things I've eaten. Well, then a couple of weeks later I tried this stuff again and actually, yeah, when it's properly ripe, it's quite tasty. There is the smell which is yeah, sweet and sour, not a very unpleasant smell, but I did not like it as a child. I felt quite suspicious. I never even thought about trying the fruit. As you can see, you can squeeze quite an amount of this, well, boogie looking goo out of the fruit. Hmm. hmm. And the taste is fruity and refreshing. Not so much like honey. I would say it's rather like kiwi jam or some yeah, some sort of jam, not too sweet, not as sweet as normal jam. Hmm. Also maybe a jam from cucumbers and some fruit would, would taste like this. How shall I describe it? Well, also the taste is also a little bit similar to cactus fruit, cactus fruit, kiwi, gooseberries, cucumbers. I detect a slight bitterness there. Oh, and there is still some of this disgusting astringency, maybe. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I chewed some wrong part of the fruit. Yeah, in this one there is still some remnant of this disgusting astringency. Let's try 
some other fruit. There is a small one, well, small one, but this is already pretty dry. This substance is, is kind of solidified. Still sweet, but nothing to suck out. So this is not completely ripe. This part is not ripe, so I'm quite suspicious of it. Hmm. Not ripe and also broken here. Well, no, I'm not going to try this one. What about this one? Well, it looks ripe. It looks intact. Okay, the goo is not green, but kind of beige. This could mean either that it's more ripe or that it already started decomposing. Hmm. Still edible. Hmm. Oh. But there is still this horrible astringent yogurt. Maybe I'm chewing too hard on them. Maybe I should not chew them. Maybe I should only suck out this stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, they cannot all be too old because some of them still have greenish spots. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. This is already pretty dry. <clears throat> This one looks really plump and full of good stuff. Well, certainly full of a lot of stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Quite tasty, but I cannot get a lot of this stuff out. So, <clears throat> well, final verdict. Well, final verdict after trying a total of three different honey locust trees. <clears throat> it's quite tasty if you get it at the right time of the year, but even the tastiest ones, I think if you chew them too much, they can give you sore throat and this horrible feeling in your throat. <clears throat> can recommend to you to try it. I mean, you can find it pretty much, yeah. It's native to Eastern and Central United States. It's naturalized in Southern Europe. It's cultivated in Central Europe, up towards Russia and I think China and so on. You can find it probably in most of the temperate and warm temperate climates of the world. Try it out, but be careful. Don't try too much. Don't chew too hard on it. Even a nice ripe fruit have some remnant of <coughs> This horrible astringency. So, even when you find them at the exactly right moment, it can be quite unpleasant. But this honey part is actually quite good. Yeah, I would definitely nibble it again. So, I can kind of recommend it as long as you are pretty cautious while trying it. Okay, folks, this was the honey locust tree. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.